Welcome to the Shearwalls online tutorial for the US edition. In this tutorial, we will go through the components and cladding section from the wind design results. This is the same structure modeled in the previous video with the same loads generated. We will now run the design. The project file is available in the description below. In the wind design menu, the components and cladding wind design is reported separately from the wind shear design. The components and cladding wind load, abbreviated as CNC, is what we use to design components such as wall sheathing and nails attaching the sheathing to studs for the wind pressure perpendicular to the wall. Notice the sheathing and fastener withdrawal are shown in this table. For both sheathing and the fasteners, the force, capacity, and the design ratios are reported. Similar to other tables, the ratio is the most important information and where the force cap must be 1.0 or less to pass the design. For the sheathing, the external negative end zone pressure is combined with the internal wind pressure to determine the force. The negative external coefficient is from ASC 7 figure 30.3-1, assuming the smallest effective wind area. The internal pressure is from table 26.13-1. The internal pressure is dependent on our input here in the load generation side information window where we can specify the exposure type and enclosure of the building. The sheathing capacity depends on the sheathing material and considers both sheathing bending capacity and out of plane shear capacity. The capacity is also affected by the support conditions in the settings where you can select either 2 span or 3 span. The default is based on the more conservative 2-span approach, which is consistent with speed width. If 2-span is selected, the capacity of the sheathing is from speed width table 3.2.1, factored for allowable stress design. The software assumes the exterior sheathing takes all of the load I just showed, although in reality the pressures are shared with other components, such as the interior gypsum board or the exterior cladding. The same concepts go for the fastener withdrawal. However, for the force, both the end zone and interior zone are shown in case you as a designer want to increase the amount of fasteners in the end zones where the wind pressures are higher. The withdrawal capacity of the individual nail is according to NDS 12.2-3. The table also lists the service condition factor at the far right of the table. These factors are shown in this table because the nail withdrawal capacity is dependent on wet service factor, CM, and the temperature factor, CT. In fact, based on the information entered in the service conditions, located in the design settings, the temperature and moisture factors will change accordingly to the values from NDS tables 11.3.4 and 11.3.3 respectively. 